Hi, I'm Jalinthia Trotman, and I am the Director of Pediatric and Adolescent Gynecology. Pediatric and Adolescent Gynecology uh, is a field that really has been evolving over the last few years. Within the Mount Sinai Health System, we have a lot of great resources, but one, resources that, one resource that was missing was Pediatric and Adolescent Gynecology. So we have a whole subset of young persons who have needs that are specific to them that really there wasn't a provider with that particular expertise. So based on that, um, and I trained here for residency um, under Dr. Broadman's guidance, we were able to come back and really establish care for a group of young persons who typically didn't have a specialist dedicated to their reproductive needs. So the gynecologic care for our younger patients, although there are a lot of similarities with some of the basic screening, a lot of the things that are focused around their health needs are specific to the person's emotional and physical maturity. So we tend to need a little bit more time speaking with the patient, speaking with their family, really focusing on what the individual unique needs really are, um, you know, making people feel more comfortable. This is usually gynecology and some of the things that we talk about tends to be taboo or uncomfortable. So we really do spend a lot of time with the patient and their parents or their guardians, really making them comfortable, letting them know that this is something that we move at their pace. There are also some unique uh, pathology that's specific, that's specific just to that age group that we don't tend to see in older populations. So having someone that's trained and really focused to see what are unique or what's unique about that age group uh, is basically really important. So I would say some of the time that we spend, which is truly critical, a lot of the counseling that we do, which is really based on the patient needs, as well as some of the more unique challenges that really does take someone with a trained eye. So uh, a specialist like myself can see patients from as young as uh, newborns up to uh, mid 20s, so about age 24. Uh, adolescence really does go through uh, the mid 20s, so we see patients up until that time. We treat a wide array of conditions. Uh, you know, it depends on uh, the patient's pubertal stage. So for patients who are younger in the pediatric age population, those who have not started their period yet, we tend to treat a lot of vulvovaginal concerns, a lot of abdominal pain concerns, early puberty, um, delayed puberty, um, ovarian masses and ovarian cysts. Those are some of the basic things we see Older young persons, we have a wide spectrum from reproductive endocrinology things such as PCOS or ovarian insufficiency to contraception and complex contraception that is to patients who need um, care for chronic pelvic pain, menstrual problems. Um, then we also have patients who are a little bit more complex and require a little bit higher level of care. So we do patients who have complex anomalies of the reproductive system, as well as patients who require gender diverse care. So we really run the gamut um, of a variety of, of treatment options from basic gynecologic care and preventative health care to more specialized care services. The specialty is emerging now, I think in a higher level, just because people are more aware. So traditionally patients would get care from a variety of subspecialists uh, and there always remains a little bit of a gap. So there are more trainees coming out of OBGYN residency who's focusing on wanting to serve this population. So we have a lot, we have increased amount of fellowships. We have patients who are specifically, well, uh, providers who are specifically trained in pediatric gynecology. And with that comes increased access. And every time we have increased access, we realize that actually once we put a provider there, the patients, the patients do show up because the patients do have a need. So uh, we realize that A, there's a gap. We have a lot more providers who are trained in this specialty. So now we're able to provide these specialty services. And once someone meets with a pediatric gynecologist, the need really is there and you're able to give really good supportive care. So because of all those things, we do see a lot of programs wanting to include a particular specialist in pediatric gynecology within their programs or within their hospitals. Well, there's a lot of things that's really rewarding. I think one of the major things for me is just that patient um, relationship and the communication and working with families and being able to have a young patient who may be really nervous, um, unaware of what's happening with them. They may have seen a couple of providers before and really being able to really give some answers uh, or come up with a plan or be able to say, yes, I'm familiar with that. This is what we can do. So really being able to communicate with my families and connect with the patients and their families is one of the most rewarding parts of what I do.